All right, so I'm just gonna touch on this annual ryegrass issue that I noticed that is forming. It's also Italian ryegrass or Australian ryegrass is some more common names for it. It's kind of popping up here in certain areas. It's often confused with quack grass or even orchard grass in some cases, but this is, um, it's not really too invasive. It can be in agriculture instances, but it grows as a bunch type grass. It's cool season. Um, and it's often used as a temporary turf for like, you know, pastures, farms, things like that. But as far as this is concerned, it's, you know, it's kind of, it grows in clumps, right? So it's not like, it's not like quack grass where it has rhizomes underneath. And this has a very shallow, you know, short root system. And it's got the glossy back on it. Okay. And it does grow a lot faster than the surrounding grass. So if I had a, a real thick established turf here, that would probably solve the problem if I had a better seed quality, which I'm, I plan on doing this year. Um, that's one thing too, if you guys ever want to overseed and you want, you know, you don't want to spend a ton of money, that's something you should probably spend a lot more on is a good quality seed because you can have stuff like this. And, you know, obviously this is my third year, so I'm not, you know, an expert when it comes to this, but I've done a lot of research and I've gotten the lawn improved a lot. However, I don't always use the best seed. First, when I covered this a couple years ago, this was a bare area. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, sand here, and it used to be it used to be like a small above ground pool here. So I wanted to fill it in with grass, and so I just put some down, some cheap stuff down, and this is kind of the result of that. So um, as far as this, it can kind of crowd out some areas, but if you have a nice dense thick turf with quality seed, you're not going to see as many of these problems. Okay, um, it can be also known as perennial. Uh, typically, it's you know it's an annual ryegrass, but it can be a problem year after year. But um, as far as this is concerned, like I said, it's got a little bit of reddish and pink at the, at the sheath here, the base. And it's got the clasping oracles on it, which you can kind of see right there. So that's why it's confused with, with quack grass. Um, it's got the midriff right down there. You can kind of see it faintly. But a lot of these grasses look very similar. And so, um, it's a little stiff, a little rigid, but it does grow a lot faster too. And it doesn't have rhizomes, no stolons. And it's actually not as invasive as quack grass either. But um, as far as the leaf is, the leaf, let's see if I can pull this apart. You can kind of, it's hard to tell here, but you can see, anyways, at the bottom here, it's like a rolled vermation here. There's either folded or, or rolled. If it's rolled, it's typically annual. If it's folded, you can see some close up pictures of it. Um, it's going to be perennial, but uh, it's kind of a pain to deal with. I mean, you can use an herbicide on this, like glyphosate. Um, but again, it's, it's in it's prominent, more prominent areas where it's a th it's thinning and, and the quality of grass is not the greatest, as is right here. So it's bunch type, but that's pretty much that. So I just wanted to show you that, especially to now that it's springtime. You know, a lot of weeds are popping up. You're probably seeing some things. I just pulled up a bunch of dandelions, so. I'm um, kind of seeing some things in my lawn, but the front size is almost immaculate. So really, really satisfied with that. And then I just have some more areas in the back to take care of. But from a distance, you can kind of see how it stands out. So that's that. I'll just probably pull these up. I think there's still some. I got my weed puller. It pulls it up pretty good because it has a shallow root system. So, um, but that's about it. Grows upright roots um, or upright shoots, I should say. So that's it. Uh, that's the next thing I want to take care of in the back here and then Maybe some grubs back there not too bad. So that's it, but that's it for now. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time